What's up everybody? It's your boy Jay and I got a wax on for you today. And today we are talking about Britta's Creepy Treasures. This is an order that contains four bags of customs and uh, three uh, single oil shapes. It's a fairly small order, so I won't be here too long taking up too much of your time. I hope not. If I am, I am sorry, but I have things to talk about, okay? Okay. So, we're going to dive right on into what I got here. First, let's take a gander at this really cool uh, card. Her business card. Pretty fun. There's everything you may need. So there's that. And she's also on Instagram. If you are an Instagram user, your order also, also can I talk, comes with these cool pins with the little stylus thingy on the top. And um, I have one already and they write really, really good. So definitely can come in handy because I'm a pin junkie. I don't know where, how to, I don't know why, how it started, but it, it is what it is. So let's just jump on into what these blends are. All of these blends I have created myself. I have named them myself. So if you happen to be curious about how they smell and you want to order them, just know they were from me. <laughs> so, uh, let's jump into what the first one is. These three are more fall uh, based. This one is just something for fun that I want to put together. So this one I have called the Dead Inn. And this is pineapple, margarita, bamboo, and Gain Island Fresh. I really wanted to make a blend that I've never seen done before. Uh, I was going for like a fruity, green, fresh laundry type of uh, uh, scent. So I went with, uh, it took me about a day to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with that. And um, so yeah. This is what the shapes come in. These really funky, cool zombie head dudes. They're pretty, they're pretty bizarre looking. They're really scary, but they're cool, right? Yeah, no, I'm kidding, okay. Uh, <laughs> this smells amazing. You really do get the pineapple and that bamboo. Oh, it's so good. The margarita is like kind of in the background, but you can definitely detect it. And then you got that Gain Island Fresh giving you like that, that tropical-esque laundry vibe. Mmm. For some reason, this is giving me like, imagine walking into an Hawaiian hotel and like, they have like pineapple sitting out for you <laughs> when you get there and like the windows are open and it's just like this fresh breeze of you get like the freshly cleansed bedding and stuff super super delicious oh pat myself on the back for that one buddy boy that one there some good stuff i must say i like that right there so that is the dead end next one we have which is a fall blend uh the pumpkin prowler which is pumpkin hollow and palo santo I was, when I came up with this, I was really going for a earthy, kind of like mysterious pumpkin scent. I didn't want it to smell like a dry, rustic pumpkin, but just like an earthy, sweet, kind of like, not really an incense pumpkin, but just a mysterious kind of like borderline smoky pumpkin. So I was going back and forth about how to put this together and I finally figured it out. So pumpkin hollow and Palo Santo. And pumpkin hollow is a, a very earthy pumpkin scent in itself. So it all worked out together. So you got the cool little zombie head again. How funky and cool is that, right? Right, dude, right? Oh, this is so good. Uh, I'm really surprised that you don't see more pumpkin Palo Santo blends. 
That's why I did it. Because I want to see how it, how it will work together. But you have to use the right pumpkin. Even though Palo Santo is a very blendable fragrance by itself with like many things. Because I could have I could have went with like a sweet pumpkin in this in Palo Santo. But I really wanted just to have like a nice earthy uh, pumpkin instead. And you really and you really do get that in the pumpkin hollow. It's kind of it's kind of charred, almost, but very earthy. And then blend with that Palo Santo. My God, it's so good. It's like a very light, like, mysterious and and just like dark pumpkin scent. I love it. So there's that one. Next we have. Autumn Stalker, which is Blackberry, Sutter Lane, and Sweet Pumpkin. So, I love Sutter Lane. I've always loved it. Surprised we don't see more Sutter Lane and pumpkin scents. Also, out here in the vendor world, well, but, but, well blends rather. And these are all in uh, zombie heads. So, here we go. Whoa, dude! This is freaking good. Okay, let me break. Let me try to break this down for you the best I can. This literally smells like. Okay, so first you pick up the sweet pumpkin, almost like a pumpkin puree, but it's definitely a sweet pumpkin. It's not. It's not canned pumpkin. It's not a pumpkin pie filling. It smells like just sweetened, pure pumpkin. And then that cider lane really just adds to that. So you get like that, that caramel apple pumpkin situation going on, dude. And the blackberry just gives a nice berry, dark undertone. Oh, this is, this is, this screams fall. Like this literally smells like fall in my head pumpkin-y and sweet a little fruity oh a tad bit earthy oh this is so good i definitely recommend uh ordering this for yourself absolutely that is bomb man look at me go <laughs> i love making up custom blends because you can because you can really like get what you want or like what you have in mind for yourself to get. It's really fun. It might take some brain power to really figure it out, but it's in the end, it's really fun. So next we have is Cadaver Mountain, which is Rustic Lodge and Autumn Day. A beautiful dark maroon, like a, like a very deep red wine color. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is beautiful. It smells like a cool autumn day. It probably rained and like rained that morning. And then once everything settled and it's like this kind of breezy outside, it's like a nice maybe 60 degrees. Uh it reminds me of when I was back in school and I lived in the mountains when I was going to school. It reminds me of fall in the mountains. Oh, wow. You really get the autumn day. It's a nice, like, fresh apples uh, uh, scent. Uh, and then that rustic lodge adds, like, this, this rusticness to it, obviously. A little woodsy. Oh, uh, this, this is, this reminds me, of, it really reminds me of walking through, like, an apple orchard on a cool fall day. Oh, it is so good. So, 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 so good. Love that. Love that. So those are all of my customs right there. And I also ordered uh, three skulls of uh, lavender apples and oak. So there are those two right there. This up. Well, that's what that looks like. Triple A. This is this is a pretty hefty dude. 
you know, like this is probably my hand. It's it, it, it's a pretty it's a pretty nice size skull. You could get uh one, two, three, yeah. You can get a lot of melts in this. So there's that. Let's give it a sniff here. Ooh. Oh wow. Now this could be a year-round blend, and it could be a fall blend too. Because the way that the apples and the oak pair together, it smells like fall. But it could be a very good winter scent too. But again, with the lavender and apples, makes it a year-round scent in general. This is amazing. The lavender is like a sweet lavender. It's not it's it's not too too herbaceous or herbal. It's definitely more on the ends of a sweeter lavender. The apple is more like a, I want to say it's a cross between a Honeycrisp and a Macintosh apple. And then you get that nice woodsy note from the oak. Oh, super good. Super, super, super good. That's, that's really, that's really nice. So that was my haul. Nothing to, uh, too crazy this time. But, um, you know, it's never too early to get your fall blends going, you know. And I ordered them this early because I wanted to let sure to make sure that they sat and um, cured in time for fall to get here. So by the time it happens, I can just pop them in the warmer and they will be good to go. So these are all poured around the end of June. So they say June 25th. So by the time I start getting like melting fall stuff, they will be way 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 good to go so that was my why is everything off center can we fix that even though it's the end of the video it's totally it's just bothering my own spirit so um that was my little british creepy treasures haul um hopefully you all are doing well and keeping cool and um hope you all are enjoying your your wax and just being happy in life. I know it can be hard sometimes to keep a smile on your face in life, but you have to for your own goodness and sanity and your own heart, you know. Keep a smile on your face, even, even in the hard times. So, until next time, guys, I love you all. I'm out of here. Bye.